Hello, I'm Paige Allen. I'm the Veterinary Science Superintendent for the National FFA. Um, the first day is a half a day. You come and you do an orientation. You then do, um, you're split into a group. And um, throughout that af Wednesday afternoon or that first afternoon, you will actually um, take a written exam. You will also take a math practicum or a math exam. You will um, be able to um, write a couple of different scenarios. We have different topics each year for the students to write. You also do um, an identification, and we have split that into three different areas, parasites. You learn about instrument um, identification for both the small and the large animal. And then you also um, do a little bit of breeds. We think the livestock groups here do a great job with the breeds, but we do touch on the breeds just a little bit. And then there is actually a portion where you'll do some hands-on skills where you can demonstrate your knowledge of how to remove a bandage or you can demonstrate how to restrain a dog for a specific task that maybe the veterinarian would want to do. So that's some brief examples um, of the different practicums that we have. The complete list is in the Veterinary Science CDE Handbook and that's where all of the information that you will need every year will be posted for you. So there's also the team activity where um, you are given a topic um, early in the year, usually in the early, late spring, early summer, and you have the summer and the fall to prepare the team activity. Um, and this year's team activity talks about a horse with colic. So the expectation is, is that you go with your team, you go visit some veterinarians, more than one if you want, talk about the different things that would happen with that particular patient, talk about the different roles in veterinary medicine that the veterinarian would spend time doing, what the veterinary technician would do, what the veterinary assistant does, what role the client pay, plays in, in caring for their, their um, animal also. It's really the goal of the committee is to educate students, um, their ag teachers, parents, um, in the world of what you can do in veterinary science um, or veterinary medicine. You can be a veterinarian, which requires some undergraduate work and then a, uh, a graduate degree. You can become a veterinary technician. You can work as a veterinary assistant without any schooling. Um, you can be um, a farm manager. You could be a practice manager as a veterinary technician also. There are a lot of career opportunities in veterinary medicine and we're trying to give everybody an opportunity to see each of those.